Georgia's average COVID-19 case count down to less than a tenth of the numbers we saw during the latest peak in August. Caitlin Heck breaks down those latest trends in the case curve and also shows us where some of our central Georgia counties stand. Let's start with a look at the statewide COVID-19 case curve. Right before the preliminary window, Georgia averaged 924 new cases a day. We haven't been that low since mid-July. It's also less than half of where the state stood this time last year at almost 2,000 new cases a day. If you look at the preliminary window in orange, though, you'll see the tallies start to fluctuate. The state's still counting test results from this time frame, so we typically see these tallies go up some as they move out of the preliminary window. When we see fluctuations here, that can sometimes signal an uptick in cases, but it's too early to tell if it will be a significant increase or one that is short-lived. Bibb County saw a brief rise in cases in mid-October, and we can see now those numbers starting to drop again. Right before the preliminary window, Bibb averaged 12 new cases a day, a slight increase from nine a week before. But you can see the tallies continue to fall pretty steadily within the preliminary window, so the brief uptick is likely over. Houston County shows some slight fluctuations within the preliminary window, but like in the state's case curve, it's too early to say if there's any significant increase in cases. Before the preliminary window, Houston averaged eight new cases a day compared to 215 two months before. We are seeing some slight increases in a few counties like Monroe and Peach. We'll continue to track all of these numbers so we can break down the latest trends for you. I'm Caitlin Heck, 13 WMAZ News. All right, the number of Georgians rolling up their sleeves continues to climb. State health officials say over half of the state is now fully vaccinated against coronavirus. That's 5.2 million Georgians. Nearly 6 million people across the state have at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. Comparing Georgia to the rest of the country, we're now in the middle group of states between 48 and 64 percent of residents fully vaccinated.